Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my July favorites and hate it. I only have one, I don't even have a hate it, I just have one that I'm kind of on the fence about. So um, yeah, I'm probably going to make this video a million years long, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so I have two um, just regular beauty favorites and then I, the rest of them are makeup favorites, so we'll start with the beauty ones. The first one is the Laneige... Um, special Care Lip Sleeping Mask and it has a rose scent it's just like something you dip your finger into it actually comes with um, a little spatula that you can dip into it but I don't use those things I just throw it away so I just dip my finger into it I've been using it for about a month and I don't know if you can tell but it's like barely it looks like it's barely been touched and I put this on right before I go to bed and sometimes I even use it like today I used it before um, I put on my makeup and it just makes your lips really 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 soft and yeah it's just really nice and then my other beauty favorite is the Bosha detoxifying black cleanser so this is a warming gel cleanser that deeply cleans it dissolves pore clogging impurities oil and makeup so this um, it comes out completely black and it's kind of like um, an active charcoal mask and it actually does, it's so, so weird. It's the weirdest sensation. So when you pump it onto your hand and you start rubbing it in your hands, it like is almost hot, but it's like a soothing hot. It's really nice. And then um, it's supposed to open up your pores. Um, that's where the warmth comes in. It opens up your pores when you put it on your face and then it kind of empties everything out. And then um, I rinse my face with cold water and it feels so good. My skin is so soft afterwards and it doesn't have a scent. So that is always a good thing. And then we will move into makeup favorites. So my first one, I don't remember if this was in my June favorites or not, but it's still one of my favorites. Actually, the ColourPop thing is almost <laughs> gone. It's the Aquarius Ultra Glossy Lip. This is the one... Um, from the trio from Kathleen Lights. It's so pretty. It's just a perfect rosy nude. And the next one that I have is something that I used on my channel the other day. This is the Urban Decay. I have mine in shade 3.5. This is the All Nighter. It comes in a pump. And this stuff is so freaking full coverage. And it lasts forever. I wore this, um, I think it was in my bridal shower video. I wore this to the bridal shower, which was um, partially outside. It was really humid and hot. And this did not go anywhere. And crap. I hate it when you do that. When you put things on your hand and then it, they go everywhere. I should not do that. Um, but, yeah, I was wearing this all day, probably, I don't know, six to eight hours, I think. And, yeah, it just doesn't budge. It does oxidize a lot, so you're going to want to get... A couple shades lighter and I think I said in that video that I wanted to get 3.25 because this one gets a tiny bit orange on my skin so that is the only downside but other than that I absolutely love it so this is my next one this is the LC bronzer and I have it in the shade medium so it looks like that and it comes with a really nice mirror and this has this is my favorite just because of the undertones. I've been using it a lot this month and I just feel like it gives me um, the nicest warmth to my face and it doesn't have it doesn't have any shimmer to it. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's just a really nice buildable matte bronzer. So yeah, love that one. And then this is something that I didn't think I was going to like. I've been using this um, in a few of my videos, not a whole bunch, but I've been using it a lot off camera, and I didn't think I'd like it because I'm not a huge fan of liquid illuminators, which is surprising because I have this primer and then another liquid illuminator, <laughs> and um, I would I thought this was going to like accentuate my pores and all that kind of good stuff, but it doesn't. It actually makes my makeup um, look really, really radiant and just give me like a nice healthy glow. It's not like in your face and like accentuize the texture accentuize that's not a word I don't know you know what I'm saying <laughs> um, it doesn't accentuate the texture on my face and yeah it's just really nice and this primer 
comes in one fluid ounce, um, which is a really great size. The other Becca highlighter, the First Light um, Hydrating Primer, also comes in a size this big, and I just, I really like the size. That's actually a reason that I love it. And then this is the liquid illuminizer that I was talking about. This is the Josie Marin liquid illuminizer. And it just looks like that. I'll blend it out for you guys. And it actually has a weird applicator. It's just kind of like a stick. It's, it's kind of odd. But the color is so pretty. It's like a, um, like a pearly champagne hopefully you can tell on camera but it's just it's so pretty the way that I like to use this is actually to mix it in with my foundation like I would um, do that with the Urban Decay All Nighter and then what else would I use it with um, I would use it with the Estee Lauder Double Wear because that one is like really heavy and matte and this just um, gives you a little bit of life. It's kind of the same way that I would use the Custom Enhancer Drops from Cover FX. Um, but this one's just my favorite right now. And this one, I think this is the only one that she has. It's the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. It doesn't have a shade, so I'm guessing that's the only one. And my last favorite is the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. I have mine in light neutral and it comes in a jar, which I actually love. Like it's not the most sanitary thing ever, <laughs> but um, I don't know, I just really like the packaging. And I love I love how companies are doing this frosted glass. Um, I just think it's really, really pretty. Um, but this is so super full coverage. It's not as full coverage as the Urban Decay All Nighter, but it definitely wears a long time. And oh, it actually has a little cap that was stuck in the, I can't get it off okay well it has a little stopper thing that actually was stuck in the cap <laughs> and um, but yeah this is one of my favorites Tarte has some of my favorite cosmetics skincare all of the above and this definitely is one of my favorite foundations at the moment and now we are at surprise surprise um, a disappointment kind of I don't know I'm on, I'm on the fence like I said this is the that putty highlighter that everyone has been talking about this is in shade kitten it's the heavens hue highlighter so it looks like that and the shade is it's really really pretty but it's like so the Josen the Josie Marin and the backlight priming illuminator whatever um, like I said, it doesn't accentuate your pores. This does. And I see everyone raving about it, so I picked it up and I was like, yay, I'm so excited. And I tried it on and it was like, my pores were the size of freaking craters. It was insane. It accentuated my texture like nobody's business. And I mean, it's a really cool product, but I don't know what it is. And I'll put it on, um, before I set my face and then I will set it with um, powder highlighter and it's still I don't know it doesn't look that good I'm gonna keep trying it to see if I can get it to work but I don't know maybe it's just not for people with really large pores on their face which kind of sucks because like I showed you this is it right here it's really pretty it's like a it's like a rosy champagne it's so pretty so I'm dying to love it, but it's just not going my way so far. So, but that is the only disappointment that I have this month, which makes me very happy. <laughs> I didn't waste too much money this month. So yeah, if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.